So now we're going to talk about the action potential mechanism. And so here's our picture of a neuron. And we have a signal, a stimulus that comes in on the level of the dendrites. And if that's a depolarizing signal, then we're going to get some depolarization of the membrane. And if that depolarization stimulates enough voltage-gated sodium channels to open, so we're going to have a, some of the voltage-gated sodium channels are going to open up, and that's going to then increase the conductance for sodium. That's going to increase the current for sodium, which is an inward current. Remember, sodium currents are inward under normal conditions. And that's going to cause the membrane potential to become even less negative as the positive sodium ions are going to go in. And you're going to get more depolarization. And the more depolarization you're going to get, you're going to get more sodium channels to open up. More sodium channels means more conductance, more inward sodium current, more depolarization. And it's a positive feedback loop, a regenerative process. And you're going to end up with the membrane potential approaching the equilibrium potential for sodium. So remember that in order to get this positive feedback process to occur, you have to open up enough sodium channels quickly enough so there are enough sodium channels open together to get this positive feedback process started. If you have a little bit of depolarization and there's a small number of sodium channels opened up, but it's not enough to get enough significant sodium inward current, you will not get an action potential. And that will be referred to as a sub-threshold stimulus.